with the Class AA Boys Basketball State Championship. Bluefield hasn't made it to this stage since winning the title in 2014, but today they would face Polka, the same team they beat in the 2019 quarterfinals, but the Dots did win last year's quarterfinal matchup. So let's go back to Charleston. The Beaver fans making their presence known as they get ready to take on the Dots in the second quarter. Campbell Beeks finds Isaac McNeely for three, and Polka off to a hot start in the first half, up 31-14. Bluefield trying to trim the deficit. Will Looney connects with RJ Hairston for two points for the Beavers, but still in the second quarter, McNeely sends it to an open Ethan Maynor along the baseline. Count the long two as Polka continues to make shots. A few plays later, a dots ball intercepted by Chance Johnson, who finds Jayon Flack. He connects on the mid-range basket as Bluefield pulls to within nine at the half, 35-26. Third quarter, McNeely all over the place in the good way for the dots today. He sends a pass to Beeks for this three from the left side as Polka continues their momentum. Jackson Tony to Toby Payne for an old-fashioned three-point play. Bluefield still continuing to make plays in the second half. Caleb Fuller with this three as time runs out in the third quarter. And then in the fourth quarter, Cameron Gore moving inside the paint for the layup. However, Polka able to stay one step ahead. The Dots win the game and the Class AA state title. Final score 65-48. to we represented the Mercer County Schools well. Um, these kids have no reason whatsoever to hang their heads. Uh, I mean, how many teams can end up playing a double-A state championship? I'm so proud of these young men. They're, they battled. They, there was times, you know, that we were back to the wall and trying to get up here, and, and, and we came through. We, we found a way to win. That's what it's all about. And uh, we've been here before, and we're going to be back. We knew we cut it to nine at that point, I think. And I thought we could have came out in the second half. And, you know, we knew we was in a game, but it just didn't go our way today.